All right, stopping financial fraud is a full-time job on top of the one a local business owner has. Yeah, in the past month alone, Kevin Tatchett says that he has had scammers try to cash more than 30 fraudulent checks from his company's escrow account. Joe Gocho shares that his daily office routine spared his company significant financial loss. How many today? Uh, today we had three. Yeah, three for about $4,000, $4,500. That somebody tried to take out of your account. Yeah, so they cash the check and the check gets presented to our bank. Since June 8th, the founder and CEO of Independence Title in Fort Lauderdale, Kevin Tatcher, noticed a disturbing trend for the first time in 20 years. We've never had it this bad. Tatcher shows us what he says were 32 fraudulent checks, totaling more than $22,000, written and withdrawn from his company's escrow account. They really, this time, mirror imaged our checks our signatures one thousand four hundred and ten dollars two thousand six hundred and twenty dollars and then another one on june thirtieth for two thousand six hundred and twenty dollars he has a theory for how someone replicated his checks and we had someone that broke into all of our mailboxes he tells us it happened two months ago which former fbi special agent stuart kaplan points to as a common scammer target where the bad guys can target those uh mailboxes and go fishing into those mailboxes and steal your information. And, and once they get it, you're at great risk. Absolutely. So we have to then go through our system and say, is, does this check number exist? Is it a check we wrote? Is this a name we know? Tatcher brings us into his office. He says he protects his company by reviewing his financials daily to spot potential fraud. Does that concern you a bit to know how sophisticated these checks were? What concerns me more are all the people that are not on top of things. The elderly, you know, people that don't look at their bank account on a regular basis. Now an attorney, Kaplan says check fraud is prevalent in South Florida. Using electronic banking and payments is Kaplan's best advice to avoid becoming a victim. With your authorization from the financial institution directly to that end user and thereby providing you a safeguard from someone defrauding you. Tatcher says so far he believes he's caught each fraudulent check reported to the bank, but he's still waiting to recover all the funds. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Joe Gorgio, CBS News, Miami.